The technique of robotic hyla bile duct resection for hyla biliary tumors is described in this video. Major hepatectomy, often indicated in patients with hyla biliary tumors, is associated with a significant morbidity. Hence, balancing the radicality of the surgery with the operative safety is critical. Better understanding of the surgical anatomy of the hepatic hilum has made it possible to perform parenchyma preserving liver resection. This procedure is indicated in patients with type 1 and 2 hyla cholangia carcinoma without vascular involvement and selected patients with low grade hyla biliary tumors without extension beyond the sectoral bile ducts. The use of robotic approach to perform this complex procedure has not been previously reported. We all know the glycosonin sheath is thickened in selected parts of the liver to form the plate structures and the term hyla bile duct refers to the portion of the bile duct that is covered by the hyla plate. The extent of hyla bile duct is approximately 3.1 cm on the right side and 4.2 cm on the left side. The level 1 hyla bile duct indicated by the solid black line can be approached without liver splitting or resection, whereas the level 2 hyla bile ducts indicated by the dotted black lines requires liver splitting or resection. We will initially describe the hyla bile duct resection without liver splitting or resection. This is a CT image of a patient with intraductal papillary neoplasm involving the primary hepatic confluence without extension into the sectoral bile ducts. In this group of patients, the division of the gastroduodenal artery facilitates the dissection of the intrapancreatic bile duct, thereby facilitating negative resection margin. The intrapancreatic portion of the bile duct is dissected clipped with the hemolog clips and divided. On block hepatodional ligament lymph adenectomy is completed. We can clearly observe the hyla bile duct formed by the confluence of the segment 5 and 8 posterior sectoral duct and the left hepatic duct. The same structures can be viewed from the anterior aspect. The hyla bile duct is divided and we can observe the white bile in this patient. It is critical to send both the lower and the upper biliary margin to confirm R0 resection. Post resection, we can observe the segment 5 and the segment 8 duct joining to form the anterior sectoral duct, the posterior sectoral duct and the left hepatic duct. Next, we will describe the hyla bile duct resection with liver resection. This is again a patient with intraductal papillary neoplasm, but in this case, the tumor is involving the sectoral bile ducts also and we can observe here we are not getting the adequate proximal margin without liver resection. Hence decision was taken to perform segment 4 liver resection. The segment 4B pedicle is ligated and divided. Under ICG guidance, the boundary between segment 4 and segment 5 is marked. We can observe the segment 4B vein draining to middle hepatic vein which is divided to facilitate the segment 4 resection. Segment 4 resection is completed. Now we can observe 
we are having the better exposure of the hyla bile duct after liver resection. The division is being performed at the level of segmental bile ducts. After resection, we can observe the multiple segmental bile ducts. However, all the seven ducts are in the same plane. This is the important principle of the hyla bile duct resection. And we can clearly observe there are four ducts on the right side and there are two ducts on the left side along with the caudate ducts but all these ducts are in the same plane which facilitates safe anastomosis. The patency of the ducts is confirmed by cannulating each and every segmental duct. Septoplasty is performed to ensure that all the ducts can be incorporated in the single anastomosis. This is in contrast to a multiple anastomosis performed previously with the open technique. The entrotomy is made in the rule limb of a jejunum. And the anastomosis is performed with polydioxinone sutures. Interruptor sutures are taken to complete the posterior layer, incorporating all the segmental ducts. Subsequently, interruptor sutures are taken to complete the anterior layer. This completes the anastomosis. The bile leak test is performed. We have performed this procedure in seven patients with hyla biliary tumors with good post-operative outcomes. Hyla bile duct resection is feasible in selected patients with hyla biliary tumors, and robotic approach might be the preferred minimally invasive technique for hyla bile duct resection. Thank you.